Hi there, Toy here. It's time for a wrap up. So I um, <laughs> just have finished out the month of January, and this is probably one of the slowest reading months I've had in a long time, but it's okay. I'm hoping things will pick up. So a couple of things. Last year, I set my Goodreads reading goal for 60 books, and I did the same thing the year before that, and both years I met that goal. Now again... I've said it before, when I say 60 books, I'm not necessarily saying 60 novels. I'm saying 60 titles that could be several different things wrapped up in that. And I bumped it up to 75 this year, and I'm already behind schedule. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's only January, and, um, well, <laughs> it's February. But I've got some time. So with that said, let me talk about what I actually read in the month of January. So I read Monstress Volume 2, The Blood, and I gave that a five star. If you visit my other channel, Lit Carnival, uh, I'm going to start posting my actual reviews there. So um, I'll be having like the Goodreads reviews posted on the blog, but I'll actually do a video where I talk about the books more in depth on that channel. So if you're interested in that, check the link below. The next thing I read in January was On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft by Stephen King. I also gave that one a five. I enjoyed that one. I read The Luck Bucket, and that is an anthology of short stories based on a town in the Outer Banks of Virginia, North Carolina, mostly North Carolina, and um, it's written by local authors. And that's something new that I'm going to be doing this year. I'll get to that in a second. I gave that one a four stars. And then the last thing I read in the month of January was uh, Murder at the Marina. And that is the first book in the Molly McGee Cozy Sailing Mystery series. <laughs> Even though that's the first book in the series, it's not the first book I've read in the series. I'm actually kind of playing catch up. I've I've been reading this series completely out of order, but that's okay. I'll get more to that later. I gave Murder at the Marina five stars. So if you want to know more about those, I will be talking about those on my other channel. What I'm currently reading is I'm reading Black Gun, Silver Star. That is a book about Bass Reeves. And if you follow my channel at all, that's actually a project that I'm working on. I've already read three other books about him. I'm going to be doing a lot more research to make this project, you know, come to fruition. And so um, that's one of the things I'm reading in the month of February. I'm also reading uh, Bodies in the um, Boatyard. That's book two in the Molly McGee Sailing Mystery Series. Because like I said, I've been reading it completely out of order. I'm trying to get back on track. Um, so, I'm also going to be reading other stuff in the month of February, but I don't want to talk about it just yet because I want to see what happens. I've made mistakes in the past by, you know, saying that this is what I'm reading this month, and then I've, you know, not read it all. So I'm not going to do that this time around. But I am going to mention something. So I have a lot of lofty goals for this year in terms of my reading, plus other stuff. But these are some of the ideas that I've, I have for myself to try to do um, in 2020. I want to try to read at least one anthology a month. So for the month of February, I don't know which anthology that's going to be just yet. I have a couple set aside. Um, yeah, I just knocked something over. It's okay. Um, I want to read at least one graphic novel a month, which that's not going to be a problem. I normally in the month of February for the last two years have done 28 days of graphic novels. I'm not doing it this year, but that's not because I'm giving up on it. I'm going to be doing it again next year. I just have so many things that I just, my heart, my passion, it's just, I have to get to these things now before I let them flutter off. So I'm going to put 28 days of graphic novels on hold just for this year. I'm doing it again next year. So, but I will also make an effort to read one graphic novel a month, <laughs> just one, 
I'm going to make an effort to read one either literary or genre fiction book that doesn't have pictures in it every month. So right now, that would be the um, Body in the Boatyard book that I'm reading. That's my you know fiction book for the month. I want to try to read either one nonfiction book or my IWSG book club book. The reason why I'm saying that is because nonfiction it can be tough for me. So if the IWSG book club book is a nonfiction book, then um, that that's it. But sometimes it's not a nonfiction book. So on those months that it's not, I still have to pick out a nonfiction book to read. I'm really trying to read more nonfiction. So right now, that's not a problem because I'm reading the Bass Freeze book. So I already got two things on my list ready to go. I want to read at least one picture book a month. And again, picture books... I literally have read 16 of those in a day before, so I don't think it's going to be a problem, but it's just part of my list. I want to read one book by a local author every month. Now, that one's going to be a little bit tough. I have been out there meeting local authors, so I have quite a few already kind of stacked up. I just have to pick which ones I want, and I actually have one this month that um, is by... Um, a local author that fits in with the whole Black History Month theme, so I might read that one. We'll see. And then, um, and then the next one is I want to read a book that's either by a black or minority author, or I want to read a book that has a predominant black or minority character. So again, I have a couple of books that kind of cover like multiple ones. I'm going to try to have a different book represent each one of these. Now, whether or not I'll be able to do this every single month, who knows? These are just my ambitions. <laughs> That's what they are. They're, they're kind of dreams. If they happen, great. If they don't, oh well. But so far, I'm off to a good start for February. I've got my nonfiction and my genre fiction book already in play. I think I have a pretty good idea what my anthology is going to be. Pretty good idea what my graphic novel is going to be. Pretty good idea what my local author is going to be. And then I have to find one other book either written by a black or minority person or has a black or minority character as the main character. So that's a lot. That was the month of January. We'll see how the month of February goes. If you want more information about the books I've read in the reviews, check out Lit Carney Vale. And um, yeah, that's all I have for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>